is something that I accidentally did when I was trying to do the pressure fan, which I still cannot do. You can see when I do a pressure fan, it doesn't look good at all. The cards don't go all the way around. It doesn't look good. Um, but once I was trying to do the pressure fan, I came across this. And, yeah, I call it the unusual fan because it's basically a pressure fan without the pressure added. It's basically, you apply a little bit of pressure, yeah, but you don't apply the full bending of the cards. Um, and the end fan does look quite a bit like a pressure fan. Uh, you get a nice big bold display of cards, so you can show the spectators that the deck's normal. Or you could even fan out the deck and let a spectator pick a card. Okay? So yeah, this fan is quite simple to do. It will take a lot of practice though. Um, I hope I explain it well, so... Let's get on to the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is hold the deck in a right hand middle grip, like so. You basically put your index and ring finger, I mean your middle and ring finger on the top there, your thumb on the bottom, and your index finger curled right there on top of the deck. You then want to come in with your left hand and bevel the cards. Asia and I started, I beveled the cards quite a bit, but you can bevel them however much uh, feels right to you. So, I bevel them about this much, but you can choose however much you want. Sorry for the banging, by the way. Um, so yeah, bevel the cards, like so. And you want to put it kind of at a slant in your right hand. Left easy, you might have to do this in reverse. Um, so yeah, hold it in a right hand middle grip, bevel the deck, and you want to put it on the ball of your index finger of your left hand. So just put it right in the middle of that, then this thumb comes at this corner, like so, the uh, bottom left corner of the deck, and it should be slanted, that, uh, slanted sideways a little. So let's get on to the next bit. So once you've got the grip, the bevel, and the main grip, you want to bring your thumb at this bottom right hand corner here, like so. You then want to put your index finger and your middle finger at the opposite corner, going diagonally, so that's the top left hand corner. Put them there, and if you want, you can use your ring finger, which is what I do. That's just there for support, like that. And your pinky isn't really doing anything. And then, basically, you want to apply a little bit of pressure, So, because if, if you do it lightly, you'll get that. <laughs> um, you want to apply a little bit of pressure, and then swing around. And you should get quite, uh, a quite, quite a neat display of cards there. Okay, so there, swing around. If you do it slowly, um, you've got more chance of the cards clumping up. So I, because if you do it slowly, it kind of comes out like that, and it doesn't look as good. You've got some big clumps there. But um, if you do it fast, you've got less chance of it clumping up, and it looks much better. Okay. As with another thing, this will require practice. Um, so remember to practice a lot. Um, I just want to thank Brandon Primagician for requesting this, um, it's always good to get requests, so thanks a lot, and I enjoyed making the tutorial, and I hope you enjoy learning it, so thanks for watching.